Eddie Alvarez, the lightweight champion of the world. What a night we are having here tonight. And it's still not over. Eddie Alvarez, right now, the UFC lightweight champion, about to face the UFC featherweight champion in an epic main event. Tonight's locker room cam, sponsored by IconicFaceOff.com, the UFC's social gaming partner. Real friends, real money, real time. And Twins.com, the featherweight champ, looking to win his second belt. Well, at least Conor McGregor is taking off his suit. He was <laughs> warming up with a suit and tie and until his coat. a few moments ago. This is an outstanding fight. It's an unpredictable fight, very difficult to figure out which style is going to prevail. I cannot wait to see it. But before our main event of the evening, we check in with the UFC middleweight champion of the world. Before you watch featherweight champion Conor McGregor attempt to become the first to hold two UFC titles simultaneously when he faces off against Eddie Alvarez, check out this clip from Bleed For This, based on a true story of the most incredible comeback in fight history, where the stakes weren't win or lose, they were life or death. In theaters everywhere this Friday. How much time till you fight again? I can't say with any certainty you're going to walk again. Calm down. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna fight again. Now go out there and show me how you do things. Show me how you live. Show me how you fight. Show me who you are. Now let's bury him! Need for this. Rated R. In theaters this Friday. The Statue of Liberty on Liberty Island in New York Harbor in New York City. The Copper Statue, dedicated on October 28, 1886. Tonight, history inside Madison Square Garden. Now it's time for our main event of the evening. Sponsored by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Five rounds of fight for the UFC lightweight championship of the world as Eddie Alvarez collides with Conor McGregor. And it's fitting that the UFC's most famed fighter will fight in the world's most famous arena. Madison Square Garden has a rich history in combat sport. I'm looking forward to starting a new chapter of it. So this is I seek to make history, I seek to break records. I seek to push myself, to challenge myself, take risks. I'm always looking to make history every single day. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get them two belts, take out two divisions, and continue doing what I'm doing. This is unprecedented, unseen. If anyone can do it, it's me. I think there's a lot of fans out there who are disillusioned. They are being sold something that isn't necessarily what it says it is. And a lot of people want to believe in it, and I get that. But I think it's important to set, uh, tell the truth, and the truth will be told. I hear some fighters saying, well, the fans don't know real fighters. As, what? as if to say, I'm not a real fighter. So what the f are you talking about? I'm the most active champion there is in all weight divisions, and I fight at all weight divisions. No! Connor's full of shit. He's full of shit. Most of the things he says are full of shit. They try to build Nate up like he was a monster 170 pounder and he's a world beater. Nate is a lightweight who is, wins half of his fights and loses half of his fights. There's, there's the bitterness coming out again. You know what I mean? Winners focus on winning. Losers focus on winners. That's what you're seeing here. That's what you're seeing the whole game. They're focusing on me. I'm focusing on history. He's picked very good style matchups for himself. He's never put himself in, in harm's way. You're here because you're the easiest dude in this division. That's why you're here. And he's never, ever for anyone in UFC like me. I can take you where you're weakest, and I can fight you at your strengths. Oh! 
Huge right hand for Alvarez! It'll be high pace and it'll be violent. You've got to be bigger, taller. <laughs> You've got to have weight. That's the only way you're going to give me a war. If you're anyway same height, same weight, same reach, you're dead. You're not going to last. The illusion of greatness will soon be over. <laughs> there, there is no Santa Claus. He don't exist and he never did. I've been saying it since the beginning. These people are not on my level. I'm going to take his belt and that's it. Two-way world champion, like I said, I said it. And I'm about to do it. I'm just speaking the truth. in Conor McGregor's rise to fame. Both in his ability, his personality, his verbal skills, his confidence, his aura. There's so many things going on. But all that would be nonsense if he could knock people dead with one shot. And he can. The question is, can he land what the great Farah Sahabi likes to call the touch of death? on the chin of Eddie Alvarez, and will it have the same effect that it had on the featherweight? Owner of the fastest finish in UFC championship history, UFC 194, 13 seconds. All it took to take out Jose Aldo. But what's interesting is we're at UFC 206, and he hasn't defended that title yet. That makes a lot of featherweights very upset. <laughs> but this guy is we'll unusual. <laughs> <laughs> He's as notorious as a gent. Unstoppable, unrelenting. Undeniably, the biggest star the UFC has ever had. Born in 
and raised in Dublin, Ireland, Conor McGregor. that we're about to see. Four titles outside of the UFC. He is the reigning, defending, lightweight champion. Set to face Conor McGregor here tonight. Our tale of the tape for our main Brought to you by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. The champion, four years the elder of the challenger. Conor McGregor will have a five-inch reach advantage. Time for our main event. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Presented by Bud Weiser. Sanctioned by the New York State Athletic Commission, interim chairwoman, and Dini Mase, Commissioners John Cinarelli and Edwin Torres. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Saul Amato, Jeff Mullen, and Chris Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, John McCarthy. This bout is sponsored by Budweiser. This buzz for you. Metro PCS. Get a fast nationwide 4G LTE network for only $30, period. Wireless. Figured out. And Geico. 15 minutes can save you 50% or more on car insurance. And now, this is the moment UFC fans watching around the world have been waiting for. 
live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, New York! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist, holy professional record, 20 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 154 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, presenting the pride of Ireland at the undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, the challenger, the notorious Connor McGregor. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record, 28 wins, four losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 154 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the underground king, Eddie UFC lightweight championship. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Fight hard, but fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good luck. Eddie Alvarez. Conor McGregor. Champion against champion. McGregor looking to make history. Big John McCarthy, our referee. Tonight's Fight Clock brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. White chunks for McGregor, black chunks for Alvarez. Good inside leg kick by Alvarez. Alvarez looking to keep that left leg on the outside of the front leg of Conor McGregor. And Conor looking to step over to his right to do the same. And again at that inside leg kick. He's landing with the foot though. Gotta be careful of that. You break your foot on that shin very easily. A combined 48 professional wins for Alvarez and McGregor. A front kick to the body by McGregor, always an effective technique. Use it very well against Chad Mendez. He stabs it in there with the ball of the fit. Eddie throwing a lot of feints, looking to avoid that left hand. First time at 155 since got 2000. He got tagged. He's home. Can he finish it right here, right now? Alvarez popped back up. Big shot. Well, he hurt him bad, Mike. Delivered and connected by Connor. Alvarez got to clean the cobwebs. He's been cracked before and come back to recover, but has he been cracked by a guy who hits like Connor? Eddie looked to clinch there. There's that front kick, that stabbing front kick that Connor throws. The Irish are well represented here tonight. Boy, he's got such confidence in that left hand, and he should. He's just a, such a deadly weapon. Game changer. It is. Panic he hurt him again. He hurt him bad. No one. He's ever held two belts in the UFC simultaneously. And Connor goes high with the kick. Connor did it back at home in Ireland. He delivers another big left. It just seems to be one of those punches that fighters just get shocked by. Like they can't believe how hard he can hit you. Eddie trying to roll under, trying to protect his head. Connor on 
top, ground and pound. Tags him with another left. Hard shots, hard shots by Connor. Alvarez knocked down by the big left hand three times already in this fight. Connor looking for a fourth. Only man to ever survive. He knocked down three times in one round. Frankie Edgar against Gray Maynard years ago. That the distance that Connor's able to maintain, very, very difficult to handle. He slides in and out so well with that left hand. Stood knee to the body by Connor. He's throwing him around. He switches southpaw. Alvarez just slipped that one. Alvarez looking to land a right hand of his own. And there's that front kick again. One minute. Beautiful counter there by Connor. The left hand of McGregor. Connor showing him that left hand. Such good movement in there. Good punch to the body there by Alvarez. 30. Big round for McGregor, the featherweight champion. Looking to add the lightweight belt to his trophy case. Three knockdowns. Good body shot by Alvarez. Front kick to the body by Alvarez, and returned by McGregor. Huge round for the challenger. Huge round. And let's take a look at the first knockdown here. Beautiful counter, and then stunned him hard with the second one. One more look at that, boom, and then watch this bang with the second one. And here's the third knockdown of the fight. Just a giant round for Conor McGregor. Look at me. I want you to think you're going to miss it, and I want the reshot. I want you to know you're going to miss the first shot. I want the second shot. The shot. You need to match it. He's throwing his left right hand over your hand. You gotta match it. Alright. Here we go. Pressure, pressure, pressure. John Kavanaugh. Been with Conor McGregor for a long, long time. Big round one for the notorious one. You ready? A big round one and a completely unsuccessful one for Eddie. He threw a couple of body shots that landed, but really didn't establish any of his game. There's that front kick to the body again. But he successfully survived. And let's see if he can change the momentum of this fight here quickly in round two. And Eddie Alvarez has been there before. Oh, tagged him again. Man, the accuracy of that left hand. Will Alvarez start to use his wrestling? He should have probably already tried. Right? There it is, stopped. Yeah. Side kick, very effective. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Connor definitely has a ton of different tools that he utilizes on his feet. Alvarez pushing forward. Alvarez caught him on the end of that right hand, but not enough to hurt him. Now they're Alvarez saying officially he got tied. two he got takedowns out, or pardon me, knockdowns. That might be the third. Nonetheless, it's been all McGregor thus far. Alvarez looking for the takedown here. He's got his hand on the fence. Mergliata hasn't noticed it yet. Alvarez looking to embrace the grind. Grew up on the mean streets of North Philadelphia. Good defense so far by Connor. Able to stuff all these takedown attempts by Eddie. Good knee to the body by Connor. They break. Left hand again. Total strikes thus far. McGregor well in control. Alvarez getting loose, getting better here in this round, though. Oh, man. Until that. Oh, he's done. He's wow. done. That's it is all over. History has been made. Conor McGregor is the UFC lightweight champion. What a performance. Didn't just do it. Didn't just do it. Did it flawlessly. I mean, incredible, incredible performance. Wow. Unbelievable. He didn't come here to take part. He came here to take over. Fight replay brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Let's take a look at this stunning left hand again. Look at this counter. Boom, over the top, on the jaw, right hand, and a big one to the temple. Left hand behind it. Excuse me, right hand behind it. And Alvarez goes down, and he's essentially done there. Let's take a look at it again. Boom. Clipped him. Right hand. Boom. Left hand again. Right hand again. And he's, his head is just wobbling on his neck there. Big John wisely steps in and stops the fight. I mean, Eddie Alvarez can take a tremendous punch. He can recover, but Connor's accuracy and power was just too much for him. His movement. His ability to slide in and out with that odd style that he has. It's what a performance. History-making performance by Conor McGregor. Man, it's incredible. The first in the 23-year history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Two belts simultaneously. Time for our official decision. Brought to you by Metro PCS. Get a fast nationwide 4G LTE network for only $30, period. Wireless figured out. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John McCarthy has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, four seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and Lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor! I'm here with the winner and new, and for the first time ever, two division 
champion, Conor McGregor. The first man ever to hold two titles simultaneously. How does this all feel to you? Where the fuck is my second belt? I've already got this one. Where's the second one at? Cheap motherfuckers. 4.2 billion this company was sold for. Where's that second belt? Get backstage and grab that motherfucking belt somewhere. Fuck out of here. I only want him to try to take that one on me already. What the fuck? Connor. This is a huge accomplishment tonight. Was there anything at all surprising about it to you? Not one bit. They're not on my level. You gotta have size, reach, length. You've gotta have some attributes. If you come in any way equal to me, I'm gonna rip your whole head off. And that's it. I tell it every time. Eddie's a solid competitor. Eddie's a warrior. But he, he shouldn't have been in here with me, and that's just, that's just the truth of it. Connor, this is a, obviously a massive, massive accomplishment. But at this stage of your career, what challenges you now? Now that you are a two-division champion, are your thoughts to try to defend both titles? Are your thoughts to stay at lightweight? What do you want to do? Listen, thanks everyone for coming out. I fucking love everyone here, I swear to God. He's traveled the world with me. There's a reason why we're at the top of the game. Because of me and because of you. And I appreciate every single one of you. Look, what's next for me, Joe? I'm gonna get that second belt, where the fuck is it? They should have had them two belts ready, special for me. They're fucking out both in the octagon. octagon. It's never been done before. I'm sure you'll get your second belt. But listen, I've spent a lot of time, Joe, slating everybody in the company. Backstage, I'm starting fights off everybody. I've ridiculed everyone on the roster. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the fuck he wants. Have a seat. Let me raise this motherfucker now. This is what I want to do. This is what I dreamed of. This is what I dreamed into reality. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. God bless. Conor McGregor, congratulations. Yes. It's been an yes, honor calling your fight, sir. Yes, Thank you very much. Yes, you're welcome. Conor McGregor, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's main event interviews are brought to you by EA Sports UFC 2. EA Sports UFC 2 is now available in the EA Access Ball. Sign up to EA Access to play the best of EA for $4.99 a month. Visit EA.com slash EA Access for details. The celebration is well underway. Lethal left hand. Round one. Truly the beginning of the end. And here it is. The final combination. That makes Conor McGregor the very first to hold two belts simultaneously in the ultimate fighting championship. He is one of a kind. That's one unique human being right there, ladies and gentlemen, both in his accomplishments and his abilities. And he showed, he backed up all the talk tonight. He did it in just as a spectacular fashion as he predicted, maybe even more so. 
I mean, he was essentially flawless tonight. Other than getting hit by a few body shots, which is just going to happen, he just teed off on Eddie Alvarez, countered beautifully, utilized that odd style and movement, that wide stance, dropped that left hand in, and closed the show and made history. It's absolutely amazing. And when you thanked him, in the interview, he said, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a unique human being, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, he believes it. He Let's believes it. it again. He forced it into existence. <laughs> he, he has this such a great combination of confidence and ability. Look at this. Boom. There it is again. Amazing. Nobody like that guy, I'll tell you that. And there can be no doubt that that is the most popular fighter in the history of the sport. This guy is fighting Eddie Alvarez, who lives an hour from here. Okay, it's an hour drive basically to Philly, maybe an hour and a half, right? And people are booing Eddie Alvarez and screaming when Connor comes here. And they flew all the way from another continent over an ocean. Amazing. For it to happen in the Mecca, a building with such great combat sports history is the ideal way for Conor McGregor to achieve what no man has the belt. They're going to fight again. Then our main event, the notorious one, looking to make UFC history, fighting the champion, Eddie Alvarez, and finishing him. He has two belts simultaneously inside the octagon. For our partner Joe Rogan, Mike Goldberg saying so long until next time. We see you right back here inside the Octagon.